Hello, boxing fans. Right now, I'm talk to you about Sergio Martinez versus Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. This could be a very good match, and I don't say that often about top rank fights. Right now, we've got the number one in the division against the number two of the division, and they're fighting out to use number one. I think that's a good reason to fight, really, you know, better than just the money. You know, looking at Martinez, he does have uh, 49 wins, 28 by way of knockouts, to two losses, one of them by KO, and he also has two draws. That's a 53 fight record. He's been moving up and down from 154 to 160, trying to get the best fights he can, because he's getting on a bit, he needs the money. And it seems the top two promoters, top rank and golden boy, have been doing their very best to keep their boxers away from him. Because, you know, he is good and he seems to be getting better with age, which is unusual. Look at his opponent, and that's the current WBC champion, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. He's won 46, 32 by way of knockout, to zero losses, and only one draw. His promoter has admitted recently, yeah, we dumped Martinez, because, you know, we didn't think we could win the fight. Now they've accepted the fight because, one, they've got nowhere to run, obviously. And two, Chavez is actually getting a bit better each fight. You can tell he's, he's actually, you know, maturing, uh, sort of, as a fighter. He's getting better, you know. Possibly also, maybe, I'll tell you as number three, you know, Chavez wants to leave top rank. Top rank are going to be like, you know, right, you want to leave us, we're going to throw you right in the lion's den now. Looking at both boxers' advantages, and I'm looking at the power, first of all. You know, both of these guys have different types of power. And you, you can both, you can everyone can accept that. You know, Martinez, he hits you from different angles. You don't see it coming. He's naturally heavy-handed. So he works as more of a one-punch knockout artist. The only problem is, you know, will it work against Chavez Jr.? Another thing to add, he does carry that power throughout the fight. You know, early and late. And that's dangerous. When we look at Chavez Jr., his power is more, you know, due to the combinations. And because he rehydrates up to about 200 pounds after the weigh-in. No one has ever weighed in, you know, that much after the weigh-in before. You know, he outweighs his opponents by more than 30 pounds. So, it's almost suicidal to trade with him. Because, you know, he's got so much more weight behind his punches, they're going to be heavier than yours. The, the only difference is, you know, Martinez, I don't think he, he rehydrates over 100, 164, 165 pounds. Because, you know, he's at the end of his career. He started at 147, and now he's up to the pinnacle of his career at 160. you got to get that right. Looking at the speed, Martinez does have a clear advantage here. He is lighter on his feet. He moves around the ring well. You know, his hand speed for his age is well above average. You know, the, the, he fires these shots in fast or abnormal angles. You know, there's venom in these shots too. You know, Chavez, he doesn't have fast hands, but he's no slouch either. He knows what he's doing. And he can get the punches off. He does get the punches off quite well. And by the time you're covering up, he's smashing you to the body with those shots. When you look at the chin, I would say Chavez has the advantage right here. You know, He's never been down in his career. He hasn't fought anyone, by the way, who punches as hard as Martinez or at the same angles as Martinez. The question is, can he walk through Sergio's best shots like he has done with everybody else? And I don't know if that's the right answer. You know, I don't know the answer to that question. Martinez, he has been stopped before at, at a lower weight as well. He, he was less experienced at the time, maybe, okay. But still, he still was under pressure. It's going to be the same type of pressure that Chavez is going to bring. And because of that, you know, you've got to say, he's going to be in trouble at times. At some point, he's going to get caught by Chavez, who, let me say, he's going to hit a lot harder than um, the other guy who stopped him. Wait before his name comes to my head. Margarito, there you go. He's going to be under a lot more pressure, or the same type of pressure as Margarito put on him, but he's also going to be hitting a lot harder than Margarito. What can you really say about that? It's going to be a hard fight for Martinez. Don't get this wrong. A lot of people are picking Martinez by winning it, you know, easily. I don't think this is going to be an easy fight for Martinez at all. Looking at the stamina now, um, Martinez clearly has the better stamina, you know. A former, he's a former pro footballer, pro cyclist, you know. You've got all these sports he's doing here are long-term, you know, stamina testing sports. He's got a lot of experience in these sports too. You know, Chavez, he doesn't have this same athletic background. And I honestly, you know, don't think he trains as hard as Martinez either. Or any other world champion in any weight division. Mm, okay, maybe Adrian Broner. Maybe Adrian Broner. He, he trains a little bit harder than him. But, you know, it's touch and go. 
And that's not a good sign for coming into the biggest fight of your career, is it? That people are saying you don't train very well. Yeah, you know. The only thing is, you know, Chavez does have heart. You know, I've got to point this out. He does have heart. And it makes up for almost everything else he's lacking in. He does just keep coming at you. He shows a lot of heart. <laughs> that's the best thing I can say. He does show one hell of a lot of heart. I'm looking at the boxing ability now. And, you know, Martinez is the much better boxer. He can fight on the back foot. He counter punches very well. And he's going to have to do this in this fight. He can use a jab. He can work on the front foot as well. Not as effectively. He can be a sort of effective um, front, front foot counter puncher. With one punch knockout power as he's shown against um, Matthew Macklin in the later rounds. However, his opponent comes in with a lot of heart, like I said. You know, he doesn't fight on the back foot, so he's going to be coming right at Martinez throughout. He's going to apply a lot of pressure. And he seems to have this type of, you know, Jedi mind trick. You know, people are fighting their game against him. All of a sudden, he ushers them, come on, fight me, man, fight me, man. Like that. And all of a sudden, these guys are in a toe-to-toe war with a guy who outweighs them by between you know, 25 to 40 pounds. I don't understand why they do it. He then breaks them down and gets the stoppage. Will this work on Martinez? You know, I don't know. If Martinez stands and fights with um, Chavez Jr., I've got to say, I've, I um, expect Chavez Jr. to grind out a result. I'm going to say it. However, if Martinez fights very fairly, I expect it's going to be his fight to lose. I'm going to go for a new one now. and This one is the body performance. Let me just point out that Martinez does live the perfect lifestyle. He's been pretty much an athlete all of his life. You know, footballer, pro footballer, real footballer that is, you know, pro cyclist. That, you know, stuff like that, you've got to say, is a lot of stamina involved. He's got a good stamina. On the other hand, you're looking at Chavez Jr. He doesn't do a very good diet. He drinks on the job, which is training, you know, which, let me add, it decreases your protein synthesis by uh, 75%. And that is basically the rate your muscles grow back, you know, the way they fix themselves after you broke them. So if they are decreased by 75%, how is he getting into shape for these fights? I don't get it. I couldn't do it. And well, people on steroids can't do it. So it's pretty much a shock unless he is totally on steroids. That is. You know, he has been caught using drugs before to help shred weight, like I've got to point out. Um, but like I said, this is a short-term fix to a, you know, a long-term problem. You know, these will impact really heavily on his uh, body performance and that will really affect how he works later in a fight. You have to admit, he hasn't been into a lot of fights in the late distance recently. So what will happen if Martinez takes him into the trenches in the later rounds? I don't know. So basically, what am I, how am I going to read this result now? Basically, it depends on a number of things. One, can Chavez take Martinez's best shots? Can he walk through Martinez and grind him down? And which boxer is going to feel the pace first and react. I think Chavez will be able to take Martinez's best shots. I think he will walk through him. But I think Mar- Martinez will outbox him. I think Martinez will keep his pace throughout the fight. And the better punches will come from Martinez. Chavez will decline in the later rounds. I'm going to predict that now. I see Martinez uh, winning a unanimous decision. As long as. Basically there's no home cooking. Because you know with top rank you really can't. You can't guarantee anything you know and I wouldn't be surprised if Martinez won you know 10 out of 12 rounds and still loses the fight it's very possible so tell me what you think about this fight tell me you think's gonna win and yeah thanks for listening guys